and this was his trunk that he took um, with him to the front and it's still in great condition. And then inside here we have his gas mask. From gas masks to pamphlets, curator Carrie Meyer is currently sifting through the Durham Museum archives, preparing for their upcoming exhibit. Fighting for the good life Nebraskans in World War I. She searches through items, each a chapter in a book that's Omaha's history, like this article from the Omaha Evening Bee about the Omaha Balloon School. These guys are learning how to fly these balloons. Um, for the Army? For the for the Army. So this was Fort Omaha. That was lucky, sir. But to complete the story, she needs the community's help. For the next month, the Durham is asking people to send them photos of any World War items that they might have. They're specifically hoping for things like souvenirs, boots, propaganda posters, uniforms, weapons, or letters from the battlefield. Meyer has already had a few submissions. These are just a few of the posters. This is a pocket watch. It's the death telegram that his family received. From there, the museum would borrow any items they're interested in and then would return them when the exhibit is over. They did the same thing last year with great success for a 1970s exhibit. Crowdsourcing for a period twice as old might be a little harder, though. But Meyer has faith. Maple might not have as many things, uh, but we're hoping, we're hoping that the community has stuff scrolled away in their attics or basements that they want to get out and see the light of day and uh, and have those stories told, the stories of, of the normal people who left their homes, went over to a foreign country, fought in this war, and then came home. I want you to take a look at the bottom of your screen. You have until November 17th if you want to submit photos of your artifacts to this email address below. I've also included it online with this story at 3newsnow.com. We're in Omaha today. I'm Lindsay Thies. Curators are also looking for artifacts related to the Spanish flu. The influenza pandemic of 1918 killed more people than World War I.